stop going to New York because every time I go to New York, I come back uh, 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 like squashing beef. <laughs> Ah, oh yeah! <laughs> Let's start with Casper! Yes, Let's start there! Chance, we gotta go to New York, man. We gotta move, bro. Let's go, bro. Let's go hey. Hey. No way! No way! Rick left South Africa and packed the suits. suits. That doesn't suit you. It's <laughs> not so your kind of action. I was watching the shows, I'm like, this guy's fucking hey. brilliant, man. For real. Hey, dog! Uh, t- hey, you're amazing, dog. Can you send a text like that, man? Hey, 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 don't read the text. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Nota says we must fill up FNB Stadium. Us. Next. Can we? Ah, oh, no ways. I can. You will take someone who's at the bottom, mm. has nothing, mm. and take them to the top just to show off like how powerful he is. Bro, ask yeah. Dr. Matthew. God qualifies unqualified. Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Pinduka, go away for one week. You're sick. What's going on, man? Ha, ah, boy, I'm sick and tired of guests. <laughs> <laughs> yo, 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 was that after Juarez or Tineo? Which one? <laughs> after everyone. After Juarez, after Tineo, after more flame, after everyone. I was in your cool. I was in your cool. I was cool and then Katele. Yeah. Uh, you know? <laughs> What, what's what's, what's wrong, man? What's wrong, man? How I mean, you go to New York Capis now. Eh? Eh? No, man. No, no, I'm kidding. Come on. I'm eh. just sick. Uh, tonsillitis. Eee. You have I got that tonsillitis. I'm sick. Better totally just, you know, you're bedridden. What's going on and when then, you have tonsillitis? What's happening? It's like, the, the body. You get so, an inflammation of the uh, tonsils. Yes. So like, like, you only touch your, like, underneath your throat. Or even when you open your mouth and go, ah, you can literally see the swelling at the back of your throat. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, so uh, let's see. So itis is a is a, a suffix for inflammation. Hey, it's ass, so laryngitis, yeah. it's when you, your larynx is inflamed. Yeah. Tonsillitis is when your tonsils are inflamed. Okay. Meningitis is when your brain now swells. Oh. So itis is the inflammation. So yeah, it's when the t- tonsils are inflamed or they swollen. Ah. And then in the industry, there's egotitis. <laughs> yes, you got an ego in a tight ass. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what is inflamed? So who's suffering? Who have you, Doctor Bumquabo? Uh, who have you diagnosed with egotitis? Ah, uh, it's gotta be Michal. Who else, dog? Yo, <laughs> who else? Yo, <laughs> oh, in an ego tight ass. I hear that too. She qualifies, right? Yeah. yeah. Fuck, I missed you guys, man. Yeah, man. Welcome back. Oh yo. man, I missed you guys. Yeah. We missed you, man. Bro, yeah. I finally understand like what it's like to be a chiller, bro. It's so addictive, bro. For real? Yeah. Damn. So because I was watching uh on the plane, I was watching, I watched the Waras show. Shout out to Waras, man. Shout out to Waras. Fucking Waris, hell man. the Waras, man. Yeah. Dope. That's yes. my nigga. He tells me you got um four offers since the podcast he shot. Of course. Really? For him, no, 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 for him to start a podcast. Oh wow. Yeah. Who's hey. offering him to start a podcast? And how do they offer you to start a podcast? Well, what he told me is that a couple of companies called him up and they're like, listen, would you consider starting a podcast? And then we'll like shoot the whole thing, produce the whole thing for you, all that jazz. What's in it for them? I don't know. I guess advertising, isn't it? Just like how we make money. I guess so. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot, a lot of production okay. companies or you know, just general. Because like, a new wave now, like everybody's starting a podcast. Yeah, which yeah. Is dope, yeah. Which is dope. it's been, it's been, yeah. bruh. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, which is dope, man. Yeah, so which is see... dope. It grows the culture. The more the merrier, guys. We need more podcasts. He killed me when you said we need, uh, uh, we need a, uh, 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 Zena, uh, Zena. Oh, Zena. Oh, people. And the oh, yeah. boy. <laughs> Yeah, I died, dog. I died. <laughs> Natural motivation, boy. Natural motivation. <laughs> hey, shout out to Dineo as well. Shout good to see you, Dineo. Yeah, yeah. Good. Sounding good. I love the way I love the way uh, uh, um, Waras tells a story. Mm. And his uh, impressions, like when he did that Indian guy, that was funny. Yeah, right? he's, yeah that was hilarious. Yeah, With the, yeah. the, 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 the druggy the druggy selling food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes. And then I like the way Daniel can like explain her thoughts, like in thorough detail. Mm. I wish oh, I had a skill eloquent. like that. Bro. Oh, she's good. Yo, yeah. bro, like she's whatever's eloquent. in her head, she can express it. Yeah, yeah, she's eloquent, like big time. Great speaker. Yeah. Anyway, Henda, what a man! Ah. <laughs>
Drop this. It feels good to be back! Oh man, Welcome Black Studios, again, yeah, Soul Panduka is here, yeah. uh, Dudu's here, uh, Ghost Ladies, yeah, She's Simpio here. is here, Fat She's Check here. is here. She's here. I was, uh, I was at the Simpio airport. Is here. Look at him, no, he gave you a look. Oh. No, Why are you giving him a look then? They mentioned you. No, no, Simpio is my guy. Oh, okay, so you're at the airport? So I'm at the airport, I yeah. saw this chiller, I'm like, dude. It's so crazy. God is weird, man. Like, God is amazing, bro. True, bro. Like, if you look at the year that I've just had, right? Yeah. I'm like, I've been so blessed. And um, that's what God does, bro. Like, mm -hmm. he will take someone who's at the bottom, mm. has nothing, mm. and take them to the top just to show off, like, how powerful he bro, is. Bro, ask yeah. Dr. Matthew. God qualifies the unqualified. <laughs> True story, yeah, but you'll do that. You and know what I mean? Come, they come and buck truckloads. Yeah. Bro, look at the year we've had, bro. Yes. Crazy. Bro. Not just even uh, me and you, like the team, you yeah. know? Bro. Dudu's moving out. She's got a car. She yes. bought a new car. Yes. Dude, Black yes. Studios bought, have a vehicle. You know what I mean? Black yeah. Vehicle yeah. Thingy bought a vehicle. Yeah. He wrote off his car, bought another one in a week. Yeah. yeah. Shit. Yeah. 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 Quicker than he got his girlfriend back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fat checker drives a big beamer. Oh, fuck yeah. it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean, she's so tiny. It's amazing, yeah. man. No, but honestly, it is, bro. Yeah. How how was it, man? Uh, New York. Yeah. It's fucking amazing. Yeah, you gotta tell us. Movies. Huh? Yeah. Movies, bro. Yeah. Yo, I don't even know where to start. Ask me, ask me. What do, what, what do you guys want to know? Ask me. Dog. Where man. do you want to start? I don't know, man. But I'm gonna stop going to New York because every time I go to New York, I come back. Uh, 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 like squashing beef. <laughs> oh yeah! Let's start with Casper. Casper. Yeah, yeah, let's start there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is yeah, yeah. that the beef you cried? Because we saw was, a picture of you guys was Oscar. smiling, yes. laughing. Last time it was Oscar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but that was never really like beef. No, no, it wasn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Casper, dog. So How did you get to that point of taking that picture. So we 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 we, we go to the show, right? Madison Square Garden, and then Shout out. Um, I had to Uber to go to the to the to the after party. So as I'm waiting for my Uber, he walks past. Get out, Cass, are you where I'm at? Hey, Cass, yo, yo. He, he walks past, gets into his car, and then we meet at the after party. So when we meet at the after party, he starts doing that whole thing. Yeah, where I'm at? Get again, take poison. Mm, what mm, did mm. I do, poison? Yeah, 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 you know? yeah, yeah. And then we chopped it up. He bought me some 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 alcohol, and then we started talking. You know, and nice. he was like, um, "Listen, bro, like." You know, I'm in the I'm in entertainment. I get it. You know, you can say whatever you want to say about me, but when you start involving my kid, oh yeah, yeah, yeah then yeah, we have yeah. a okay. problem. You know what Fair I mean? Fair enough. He's like he was talking to Tilly and he had plans on coming to the show, but after I mentioned his kid, which I don't remember by the way. But no, I think it's that. Um... Yeah. How can you forget what you said? <laughs> yeah, no, you said, said so much shit about Casper, bro. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, like, <laughs> like, wake up the week, Lord. <laughs> like, 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 but okay, yeah, we, yeah, you did say something. I think, yeah, well, it's fine. We'll leave you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, bro, you know what? I got two kids on my own. I really get it, bro. So I deeply apologize. That's not oh, my intention, man, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout and out. That's big like, of you, yeah, man. That's big of you. And, and, and what hurt for him is that when we did that episode, his son was in hospital sick. Oh, shame. And then that episode came out, you know? So you can see, like, how he was feeling, you know what I mean? So I apologize and then ah we're together the whole night, bro. Nice, Literally. Nice. Hey, that guy's funny, bro. Oh. Hey, Casper's funny, bro. For real. Or oh, you, you just wanted to come on the podcast. No, no, no. He... <laughs> when I say no, no, he will come, bro. <laughs> oh, he's coming now. Ah, he wants to come. He wants oh, to come. So oh, so Casper. No. I actually think Kaspar. I actually think he should start a podcast, bro, because obviously the hip hop thing is not working anymore. And he's so funny, bro. I think you should start a podcast, man. You reckon? Aren't you watching a Casper podcast? So what does it take to start a podcast, bro? Like, because people will say, okay, if you're funny, can you just start a podcast? What does it take to start one? And what does it take to keep it successful? I think for me, content. Mm. Like, imagine the stories Casper has, bro. Hey, ne? You know what I mean? But you got to be willing to tell them and... Be honest, And obviously. be honest. And that's going to rub up uh, people up the wrong way. And you don't you don't need to you need validation from other people. You have you need to have that character. You know you know like how like the industry feels about let's say you or me. You know mainly you know because of what we say. And you have to be willing to put yourself in that position. Oh yeah, thick you skin, can't be the industry darling if yeah. you're gonna share your honest opinion. Mm. Mm. This sounds like thick skin. Food, though. When you came back from New York last time, you came back to Neo podcast. Jiggy <laughs> jiggy now. 
Kespa oh, podcast. Hey. Oh, all right. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. We see oh, the recruit starts in New York. All right. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, come on. Hey, hey they must hey. change the Big Apple to a new job. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the York. York yard. Hey. New job. Ah, say a bon, say a bon. Okay, welcome to the team. Let's eh? <laughs> 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 celebrate. Casper. <laughs> and is he open to doing it? Uh, a podcast? Yeah. Uh, we never spoke about that, but... It, oh, it was, that's what you thought. Yeah, in hindsight, Your after chilling with him, yeah, like, yeah, this yeah. guy is so funny. I can imagine him sitting next to Capo and just telling stories. Oh, yeah. Like, I'll watch that, bro. Yeah, that's dope, bro. Yeah, you know? Mm. But, um, Chance, we gotta go to New York, man. We gotta move, bro. Let's go, bro. Bro. Are they, you ready, so? Bro, they yeah, take... Yeah, I'm, I'm ever ready. Bro, they take podcasting and even content creation, like, seriously. Mm. Like bro, you like if you have more than a million followers, whether it's like on TikTok or YouTube, uh -uh. like we do, ne? you're a god there, bro. Mm. You got so much respect, bro. I remember that we were oh. eating at um this restaurant in New York, and uh, I was with Nota, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Nota kept telling everyone, "Hey, he's the biggest podcaster in um uh, in Africa. Africa. In Africa." Yeah. So they ended up calling me the. Even Black forgot our Joe Rogan. <laughs> Even forgot which continent is from. Yo. <laughs> the Black Joe Rogan. Yeah, oh. that's what they started calling me. So oh, as soon as I heard that we have a million subscribers, yeah. like their lives just lit up and we didn't end up, uh, end up paying for the bill. Whoa. Like it's on us, bro. Whoa. For, for real, real, bro. Like, like content creators are worshipped there, bro. Mm. And, and appreciated. Bro, they appreciate it, bro. Mm. Damn. I kid you not, bro. Like I was, I was in awe. I'll tell you a story. So I go to, I go to meet Charlemagne, right? Mm. So Charlemagne has got a room like like this, ne? the waiting area. And then let's say by the toilet there, that's where they shoot the show, right? So I'm sitting outside, ne? the green room, the green room, yeah, waiting for for Charlemagne and who's the white guy? Uh, Andrew Schulz, yeah, 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 to finish shooting the podcast, right? So the whole team, yeah, Andrew Schulz is outside there by the waiting area, mm. and he has his own my ash. Someone who cuts his hair. Yes, yes, right? yes, yes. But the guy had fucked up with the times and straight after the pod, they had to go to, to London. So they're busy trying to figure out like, when is this guy going to cut um, uh, and, hair. Andrew's hair, right? Yeah. Uh, and then the guy had to go <coughs> back to work so he couldn't end up cutting the hair. And it was a big thing, bro. Like the whole team was stressing for about an hour. Wow. Trying to find Andrew Schulz. Barber. A barber. I'm like, you don't say, when me and you want to cut my our hair and my ash is not here, no one gives a fuck here, bro. Oh, no one panics, though. No one, uh, no. No one is making calls. For should should we start term. panicking? Is that maybe a new... <laughs> boom. But it was like a serious thing. It was like, guys, Are Andrew's hair needs to get cut. Sure. And they started making calls and they ended up getting... Uh, George Clooney's barber to come shoot for Jesus him. Jesus Christ. Yes. George Clooney's yeah. barber. George Clooney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When last? Hey, I'm like, which level is this one? <laughs> and then, then when they're shooting, they've got Black Studio in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the studio. But then there's another guy outside who's like his own Black Studio and he's also doing something there. I don't know what kind of operation they're running. There. What would that be? What would that I be, bro? Is that like a final mix editor or someone? Sounds like it. He's watching the show, but he's doing what you guys are doing. But he's not in the studio, he's outside. In front of one screen. In front of one screen. Wow. Studio mixing. Studio mixing. How come we don't have that? Hey. <laughs> outside, <laughs> station outside. Tell him, budget. Tell him, budget. Tell him, we budget. Zulu squam. Zulu squam. <laughs> but it's a serious operation. It's a serious business that side. Like, but it makes sense. I mean, look at uh, how, how far the, the 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 Paul brothers took it. You know, Logan Paul and the other one and stuff. Mm. What's the other one's name? Logan Paul. Jake. Jake Paul. Jake Paul. Yeah, it's yes. just like YouTubers and you know vlogging. I think they do podcasts as well. It's huge. Cause like, huge, yeah. Huge. Let's be honest. Apart from the chillers, nobody gets what we're doing, bro. No. No one takes like no. us seriously. Nobody, bro. The Apart brands, from the chillers, the I chillers mean, get it. Get Some it, brands yeah. get it. Striped Horse and many other brands. You know who who use the platform, the likes of your Kit Kat. You know, but a lot of brands still don't get it, and we. Oh, by we, I mean podcasters are the voice, you know? Like Definitely. when you want a message sent out, it comes from here. You know what I mean? We do better numbers than your primetime shows, TV shows, uh, you know, at night. Uh, and that just those just play once. And here, you can play it whenever, repeatedly. 
you know, but people don't get it. They just so far behind. I can't even say they're reactive because some don't even react. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> like they don't get it, bro, at all. And yeah, uh, sadly. So my plane is like 15 hours. So I downloaded um, all the podcasts. So mm. I started watching the Water Swat, which I enjoyed thoroughly. How was business class, by the way? Ah, it's normal things now. <laughs> What you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Shout out, bro. Hey, but once you go business, you can't go oh, back, dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, I was sleeping. I was on the bed, bro. Yes. Bang. Hey. Sleep. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Show you the point. What do you mean? Uh, what but do you, mean? you were in bed and flights. Yeah, alone. You left with your wife? No, I was alone. You don't go with your wife? Uh-uh. She went to uh, Thailand. Ooh. Hey, you went to New York alone, fam. Yeah. Hey, it was a good girl after the show. <laughs> Don't call after the show, boy. Oh, you left with the wife. No, she went to Thailand. Oh, dog. damn, you were alone, yeah, dog. Yeah. Shit, yeah. that sounds fun. Yeah. I don't know, but business classes. <laughs> I think mean, that sounds fun. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, <laughs> business flights. Oh, man. So, so, so I downloaded, um, yeah, the the the, the Waras episode. Yeah. Got the Dineo episode. Then I downloaded Popcorn and Cheese. And then I downloaded the kids as well. So I was watching them on the plane. And I got to say, guys, mm. we have some amazing content on this oh. network, man. Yeah, Fuck, true, the kids man. are killing it. Oh, the Bantweezy. Bantweezy. I was watching their last show. Oh, and it was so cute. Like, I loved it, yeah. Hey. Yeah. Mara, you guys, Black Studio and, and Simpo, they laugh too much with the kids, eh? <laughs> you can even hear them on the microphone. You just laugh too much, eh? Yeah, they keep on getting distracted, eh? Nisamani, lah. Or askegis, maybe. Or nisam. Which one is it? And then I watched uh, Popcorn and Cheese. Ah, you know the skate stuff. Yeah, like, they, they, they're amazing. amazing. So I was Shout like, fuck, popcorn. man. It reminds me of like a new school YFM, bro. You know, when we started oh, the energy, the bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Genuine energy, bunch of young people. Well, some of us not so young, but energetic, passionate about what we're doing. Yeah. And we do it for the love before anything else and all the other rewards that come with it, you know? Yeah. 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 So so first night I got there, uh, hooked up with uh, Nota. Um, and then um, he was saying he moved to the US because there was a hit out in him. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, he earned it though. Yeah. He earned it. <laughs> So he was Wait, like, one of them, so. <laughs> no, but he earned it, man. Hey, I mean, hey, he's yeah, done yeah. disrespected Black Coffee and his <laughs> kid and people and they kid and said, and then cops as well. About two, yeah, he earned it, mm. honestly. Mm. So he was out there and he was telling me some crazy shit, man. Because like there uh, in America, they don't know uh, uh, Amapiano, actually. Mm -mm. Even Charlemagne, when I met him, he didn't know what Amapiano was. Yeah. Because... Um, uh, uh, he's like, oh, you. So he's like, they think it's Afrobeats. Hey, do they think it all falls under Afrobeats? Yes, yes, oh, okay. they think it's under Afrobeats. And you can't blame them. The Nigerians are so far ahead of us, yeah. and they make noise in rooms that we haven't entered. Enter so by the time we enter, like, ah, you're him. It's fine. You are mm -hmm. one of them. But no, it's a different thing it's altogether. A different, yeah. yeah. So in, in America, like, or in New York, um, Afrobeats, I'm a piano. They think it's the same genre, but like the 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 Nigerians like own their music and they champion it in New York, right? So there are New Yorkers who champion that sound. So you might find a song that comes out, comes becomes big first in New York and then Nigeria. Like that's wow. how big the influence is in wow. New York. But we don't have this, the, 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 the same for piano. So there's no one championing piano in New York. Wow. I'm major league doing something like that, maybe. Nah, they're all over the world, man. They, they, they're all over the world. they DJs. They get booked and oh, they play okay, wherever. Fair enough, but fair there enough. isn't someone who's based in New York who's just pushing the sound of clubs. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we don't have that. And uh, the driver I was with, he was saying, if someone from SA could just come and champion Ama Piano, because they don't know it, bro. Charlamagne didn't even know it existed. I, I, I was chatting to him and I was like, He's like, uh, oh, you DJ too? I'm like, yeah, DJ, I play my piano. So he's like, oh, you play the piano too? You one talented motherfucker. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 I don't play, I don't play piano. I play I'm a piano. It's like, what's that? I'm like, it's a new genre. It's from South Africa. It's like, oh, it's like Afro beats. I'm like, not, not entirely, but you know, yeah, it's yeah. our sound. You know, it's like, oh, right, cool. It's like, who's the biggest artist? I'm like, well, I think it'd be Uncle Waffles. He's like, oh, Uncle Waffles? And then he, he he follows her. 
And then he's like, oh, she's hot. I hope she doesn't identify as a man because of Angu. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense though. It no, does. Hey, yeah. Because hey, 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 you never know. Hey, hey, Uncle. Hey, hey. It's like, hey, hey. You are pre representing you're presenting something else than what you're calling you. So you know sometimes. Yeah, people like, identify hey. as doctors you know, hey. when they not. Hey. So you don't know these hey. things, you know. And so yeah. to be respectful, you know, I mean? you know? Yeah. So I'm chilling there with Nota. He's telling me that um so Tyler, this is where I'm going. Oh, hey, water. Water. Yeah. She's like the biggest uh, artist. In New York, that yeah. people know is from SA. Wow. She's massive. And he was telling me, and you don't know it's Nota, man. You don't know if this is true or not. But <laughs> I think I, I think he's onto something. But he's saying that that should have been Shoma Josie. So what happened is um Shoma Josie was dating her video videographer, some white guy, right? Okay. And then they broke up. Okay. So when they broke up, uh this videographer started dating Tyler, right? Yo. And then he started like shooting music videos for her. And then he took her to America. So like, you know when Shoma Josie was on like John Cena and doing all those things? Yeah, on, on, on Ellen, 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 yeah, Ellen there was a, Generous. There was a yeah. team behind that. And it was the videographer's influence. Yes. Whoa. So now that team is on Tyler now. Yo. They're focusing on Tyler. Wow. They're pushing her like crazy. But here's the thing, right? You can't automatically assume that... Just because Shoma Josie had the resources Tyler had, she was going to be Tyler kind of big. You know, because I think it all goes with the sound, the right time, timing. Oh, she's more unique. What do you mean? Shoma Josie sticks out like a thought uh, yeah, thumb, but, bro. But, but what I'm saying is, example, nice to see. His team put him in, you know, that space as well. But... It wasn't maybe his time or... No, man. It's it's all manufactured, dog. Even the numbers are manufactured. Who? Uh, Tyler. Those numbers. They're not real. What do you mean they're not real? She's been pushed eight, by the label. Eight million people streaming are real Man, listens. dog. You from radio. Do you know Payola? Yes, 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 okay, yes. Okay, cool. So radio's dead now. Where's the Payola money going to? Streams. It's all manufactured, dog. Yeah. No. But who do you pay then? You pay who? No, no, it's the it's the major labels. So if you check, if you open up your phone right now, ne, yeah. you must check the top 10 stream songs in SA, for example. Yeah. It's all artists that belong to major labels because they have a monopoly on the streams. Oh. Yeah. That's why when we release albums, it doesn't chart, but we have the biggest platform. E why? <laughs> Makes sense. Okay. Makes sense. Cause yeah. Because I mean, what they have to do, the record labels, they have to uh, suppress the, the 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 independent guys. So the independent guys are, you, you feel like you need a major label to charge, to charge, yeah. and, and 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 fill up stadiums and do all these things. So I what you're it. saying is because the likes of your Spotify, which is the biggest culprit, and Apple Music, took away so much power from the record labels, then the record labels realized, hold on, let's get in bed with these guys now. That's why, like, for example, if you go on the biggest Ama Piano playlist, which is Ama Piano groups, yeah. right? Yeah. How about the songs? I'm like, ah, exactly. Ah, ah, this one. Exactly. This one. Exactly. Like, how did this one make? I get there's some songs that are still there, like Minanawe, but also that I think is 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 Influenced by how many times people play the song and if there's still an appetite for a particular song. But there's some songs that make it there, and that's just 50 songs. And that's literally meant to be the 50 hardest Amma Piano songs. And some of the songs, they are questionable. Mm. But then you look at who is behind them, what label is behind them. So who are these big labels you, that you got normally... Point, it's the big labels, the big three, man. So Universal, Universal Sony. the likes. The thing is, they, they have a they, point, bro. So, so with streaming, okay. they are like gatekeepers, right? Mm. But with YouTube, you can't gatekeep. No, you can't. Right? So if your podcast is hot, the numbers will show it's hot. Mm. And that's why with us, like we've got a million subscribers and whatever, right? But we do a show at Sunbed and it fills up. Mm. Yet you'll get an artist who fills up a stadium, but when they sell albums, not even... So they fill up a stadium with 90,000 people. Yeah. But when they sell an album, only 20,000 buy. Mm -hmm. How does that make sense? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Um, there's another example. Who, who said this? Who posted this? I forgot someone posted this. Like, there will be art someone who drops a music video 
And then one week it's got a million views. Yeah. And then a year later, it's still stuck on a million. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which naturally doesn't make sense. Mm. Look, numbers will always decline via, you know, attracting new eyes to a video. But it, it's sort of almost unnatural. And you're like, damn, then how did you even get to a million? Mm. If after a, a week, literally, three years later, it's still on a million. There's not even a gradual increase. Like with videos like Karakara, we're still seeing numbers climb till exactly. today. Because it's organic. Because it's authentic. organic. Mm, yeah. It's authentic, yes. Mm, mm. So now, Radio Biola, okay, and then now it's moved over to streams. Now. 100%. Uh, so the kid who's home thinking, if radio doesn't play my shit, the internet will, if it's hot, or Spotify will put it in the rightful places if it's hot. It's not like that anymore. Well, no, man. I'm just talking about... Obviously, like, the beauty now is you don't need radio. You just need a phone, right? You just need connection to the internet. And then you can build your own audience. Yeah, gradually. I'm yeah. saying, Ori, like, you know, when you see... Uh, um, uh, Tyler has more streams than Master KG and whatever, all those things. That's all manufactured. That's what it's I'm saying. It's about who's behind her. Yes. She could never do that just from a bedroom. Yes, yes. Damn. You know? Labels still find a way of re to, bro. It's reclaiming it's the power. It's an investment, bro. Fucking hell, man. You really think the game is opened up and then they find a way to close it up yeah. again? Yeah, because they want you to be dependent on them. Spotify opened up the game so much. You know, kids yeah. make a song, upload it, get a distributor. What's that? What, what, kid? Distro kid or Africori, Electro Mode. Get it out there. People love it. It's on the hottest playlist. Mm. You're gone. Now yeah. it's back to... And then there's someone with money behind. And it. then there are songs that I just got. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like touched by God. Yeah, Jerusalem. Like, like no matter what you can do, it is. What it's gonna. It is. Gonna, what it, is. It, is it's it gonna is. fly. Yeah, yeah you know what I mean. You know. It is. What but it those is. songs are far and few between. Ish. You know. Far and few between. Yeah. Bro. Far yeah. and few between. Uh, so so I wake uniforms. up. I wake up Friday morning. Um, so uh, Black Coffee had a gala dinner. So. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. A text. His sister. Shout out to Lungi, man. His sister. She took care of me the whole trip in wow. in in in, um, in, um, in New York. In New York. Shout, Shout out, out to, to her, man. Mapumbo. Shout out to Zandi as well from Chisanyama. Uh, she booked me. I'm back in in the states in Miami next Ooh, month. Beautiful. Mm. Shout yeah, out to Zandi. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Zandi. So um, I wake up. I'm like, Yo, uh, Lungi, can I still come to the gala dinner? And then she doesn't respond. So I'm like, Ah, oh, okay, cool. Let me find something else to do. Uh, Twenty minutes later, she calls me. She's like. Actually, can you MC? I'm like, ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. No way. No way. Rick left South Africa and packed the suit. Suits. That doesn't suit you. Yeah. <laughs> your kind of action. There's no way. I knew it. So I'm telling her, I'm like, hi, 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 hi. Look at me. I'm scared of people. Like, yeah, I can't hey, MC. Look. Yeah, I can't look. And then I call my mom, right? I'm yeah. like, hey, ma. Uh, they're saying one, two, three. She's like, what the fuck's wrong with you? You're in New York, bro. Dude, what you gonna do? <laughs> so I'm like, hey, okay, actually, you know what? At least it's not like a stadium or like a festival. Bro, shout or... out, man. Uh... Like a lot of people would have preferred remaining in their comfort zone. Yeah. So shout out to you, bro. Nice. So I call her back. I'm like, I right, fuck it. Look, we're in New York. Let's do it, baby. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so so then I get um, I get to the to the venue. I, I didn't have any like formal attire. So literally right next to the venue there was like a street market. Then I bought myself the <laughs> the shirt the shirt the shirts. yeah pants yeah no the pants I had. But then I bought the shirts because I was planning on going to the gala dinner. You remember? Oh yes yeah. yes. Okay. But now it was an all black tie event. Oh and, yes yeah. yes. So I get the sh shandies boom boom boom. Then I'm there mm -hmm. right hard ah, dog. Remember you were talking for the billionaire? The, hey. the billionaire? Hey. Ah, me, I was twerking for black coffee. <laughs> I was twerking oh, for his oh, no, no, Rightfully so. Rightfully so. Right? Rightfully so, bro. Rightfully so. I'm like, this Who's is my nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my nigga. I get there, I meet these white ladies. They're like, hey, listen, are you handy? I'm like, yeah, I'm very handy. They're like, hey, can you please assemble this thing where they wanted to put like uh, these paintings for the auction or whatever. So there I am. I'm putting up the thing. <laughs> I'm like, hey, I hope no one takes a video. Should I see this? <laughs> yeah. That's inspiring, man. Come on, you know? <laughs> and then the guest camera was very intimate, bro. Like, about 30 people. I'm talking about, like, rich motherfuckers, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, the yeah, cream yeah. de la creme. Who was Whoa. they? From SA, it was T. King Liza. Mm -hmm. I yeah. saw Skewed, obviously, was there. Yeah. Mark Hossa. 
because he was oh, he was giving yeah, away yeah he yeah. was giving away something at the Nelson auction. Makamo I'm sure it was there you no? couldn't make it but oh, okay. he was meant to come yeah okay. was his paintings there yeah, yeah part of yeah, yeah his paintings and a, a diamond it was uh, very close necklace. to club yeah, yeah 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 so then I started ah, but the MC was chilled man I was just announcing people I was like uh, please give it up for Black Coffee there's a clip you posted Black Coffee looked uncomfortable <laughs> like he looked like he's done as a clue but then there's a part where he looked very like he's like hey Mac hey 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 hey, 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 hey. you want to get don't podcast now, you know? <laughs> yeah but you did it well yeah it went oh, well it was beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I was chilling man. with the mother oh. we were chopping it up I met his cousins the family oh. and then now the dinner's done now we go upstairs. It's time for the after party. Yeah. Ah, after party, we go upstairs. I haven't seen Black Coffee play in years, bro. Yeah. So I'm excited. I got my phone out. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. And then we rocked it. So after like an hour and a half, he's tired. He wants to. He's like, who's the next DJ? So the management, they're looking there. They're like, who's the next DJ? I got, I don't worry. I've got my sticks. <laughs> Yeah, prepared, boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, boy. Yeah. So whipped up my sticks and I played after coffee, bro. Wow. Yeah, because I saw that. I'm like, hey, that's your shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. New Jersey, right? I'm like, oh, my niggas killing you. Yo. You know what I mean? Yeah. Bro, black coffee's a god, bro. Yeah. Black oh, coffee's bro. a god. They worship him out there, man. For real. Oh my goodness. I heard him play three times. The first time was at the gala dinner. Yeah, yeah. Second time was at the. At the um, medicine, uh, and the whole time at the college, and he kept looking at me. He's like, "No horses here, but I, I can hear." Yeah. Hey. You see that video? Yeah. Uh, I saw the video where he said, "No, yeah, it was a club. Looked like a club." Yeah, white. so he's coming to me. Me, I'm getting scared. I thought he was saying, "Please don't take videos." Uh-uh. So if you see, I'm trying to turn it off. Oh, if you check yes, that video, we just hear the voice. Say, yeah, I'm yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was thinking, hey, in VIP, you can't take videos. <laughs> oh, I don't know how these things go. <laughs> I'm like, hey, I saw the coffee. What's the one thing I asked you about? He's like, ah. Oh. He's like, ah. Oh. <laughs> so, so, so he played at the gala dinner, which I saw him play. Madison Square Garden, saw yeah. him play. Yeah. And then at the after party, all were minimum an hour and a half, all those sets. Yeah. Didn't repeat a song. Kise. What? Didn't repeat a song. Jesus. I kid you not, bro. Mm. But it's black coffee, man. I and mean, maybe some people also follow him, like, you know what I mean? But also, it's... But you think about it, man. The guy plays how many sets and gigs a year alone. And half of all of them, there's someone recording the entire thing. Yeah. And they'll probably upload it on their YouTube page. Mm. You know? So the stakes are very high when you're at that level. Mm. So it makes sense. And the man is just incredible. I mean, he did a whole... Remember, he still holds the record. I don't know if it's still a world record, but a South African one for the longest set. Yeah. Remember at Maponya Mall when he did like three days. Yeah. So, so after he opened up for me, and then we went to... He opened up for you? <laughs> Hi, yeah, yeah, wait. <laughs> Terminal opened up for you at YFM. <laughs> the coffee now opened up for, for you. For you at medicine. At medicine, yeah. <laughs> Bro, what, what you got to love about Black Eminem Coffee. opened up for you also. Yeah, oh, Eminem, Eminem. Yeah. 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 When he was in South Africa. He's so selfless, bro. I remember at the, at the after party. Yeah. Um... This is like after Madison Square Garden. So you can imagine the energy, bro. He just packed it up, just filled it up, made history. Euphoria. Now we're at the after party. That's packed as well. Mm. When I got there, his son was playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Shout out. son's name. But yeah, he was playing. Asana. Asana. Asana, 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 yeah. Asana yeah. yeah. Asana. Shout out to Asana. It's packed as well. The after party's packed as well. Yeah. So he plays for about an hour and a half, two hours. And then as soon as he's done, bro, he literally gave his platform, like kind of like transferred his greatness to DJ Kabila. Was oh, on a wheelchair. Kabila, they're oh. friends like since childhood, man. I'm like, this guy's so soft. Shout out to bro. Kabila, man. Yeah. You know, with all that 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 attention, yeah. you would have you would think anyone else would want to keep it just to themselves, you know? Yeah. But he was like, come dog, let's rock. Bruh. And the fact that this guy's on a wheelchair and everybody in, in VIP has to make space for this guy yeah. was amazing to see. And Blackhoff was like, come, come. Wow. Ah man. Coffee's amazing. He is, bro. bro. I mean, I even saw a shot that he's Shaba now, right? From Shana. Yeah. At Medicine. 
uh, performing, literally, you know what I mean? And they've been friends since since high school. They really? met in boarding school in high school. Yeah. And they've been friends ever since. And he's gone through a tough period because he had a sickly child, very sickly, for the longest time, you know? So for Black Coffee, even prior to medicine, he's been traveling with them all over the world, yeah. Ibiza and whatnot. Everybody. That's what Black Coffee does. Like, Bro. <laughs> even with China. China, exactly. That's yeah. China travels all over the world. DJ Boosie, China. everyone Boosie. on that lineup. Dude, when oh. I saw Soul Star, oh. you rock my world. Oh, bro. In New York, Monkey was there as well. Uh, 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 Makanya. And I'm like, man, Sai and Rivertone. Who's is it Sai or Rivertone? The one yeah. who plays the keys. It's yeah. Sai. It's yeah. Rivertone. Rivertone. Because yeah. this pretty much at the same ensemble he had at um at Africa Rising was there. Yes. And yes. he leaves no one yes. as he goes. Oh. You know what I mean? So if it was day one still, you know, like you will still be Bro, and, and I, I got yeah. to see it first hand. He doesn't it, do it for the likes, bro. Like he's genuinely about that shit. Nice. Like putting people on, bro. Oh. He's genuine about it. Oh. But and, and I I think we don't give him enough flowers, man. Coffee, you know, like same with Mosquito, when you see everybody who's come from within their umbrella and, you know, them ascending and becoming millionaires and doing all these great things. If you look at Black Coffee and the whole wave of Afrotech and all these guys, Usu, Sa, uh, 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 Takapo, to a certain degree, Shims, even though Shims are pushed as well, you know, yeah. on his own. But he's given so many people, because when he got to Ibiza, he brought on so many Other people, people, you know what I mean? Lemon and Herb, who got onto that wave, and that's all created by him. Mm. Let's be honest about it, you know? Mm. All these South African DJs who play in Ibiza, uh, your Kairos of this world, you know what I mean? He paved that way. Yeah. And uh, 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 probably did things we don't even know about. You know, exactly. mentioned the guys in rooms that none of us were in, but him. And so many people, it's easy to just be in that room, lock the key, throw it out the window. Yeah. But it's simple, it's so. Simple. It's simple, so. <laughs> when you're blessed, the key yeah. is to bless other people. And that's, that's how, how you, you get, get blessed more blessing. Mm. More. Yeah. That's it. That's mm. it, bro. Mm. And Black Coffee has, pro has proven that and shown it. Mm. Shout out to Black Talk, Coffee. So what man. do you do now? What's next as, as Black Coffee? Hey, bro. I don't know. Playing on Mars or something. <laughs> <laughs> But Black Coffee, man, I don't know, bro. Remember, he's still probably going to do a one-man show in the O2 Arena or something. He's still going to do all these other crazy things, man. Yeah. You know? There's no ceiling for that guy, bro. I know that guy's amazing. And he hasn't changed, dog, since I met him. Still humble, bro. Still the same. Wow. And then you meet niggas here with one head. Like who? Like who? Like who? Yeah. 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 Shots fired. <laughs> Shots fired. Then I met Charlemagne, bro. Oh. Yeah, how did that happen? Did you DM him and say, oh, I'm in your town? Yeah, yeah. Because uh, 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 um, he sent me a DM. He's like, I see New York. Can you come yeah. see me? Dope. I'm like, yo, my schedule is hectic. I'll see if I can make time. Like, <laughs> yeah, right. Ah. <laughs> hey, man. Ah. Hey. Ah. I'm so sure it was Black Coffee. Someone was putting up paintings. He <laughs> <laughs> all the time. Like, I don't know what I'm no, no, I'm kidding, man. The whole time I was reaching out to him, I'm like, yo, I'm in New York, hit me up so we can chop it up, you know? Mm. And then the last day I was there, I was planning on going to the strip club because mm -mm. just for content, you know? Yeah. And then he yeah, hit of me course, up. Of yeah. course, I mean, then he hit me up. alone to New York, so <laughs> it was just purely content. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nothing else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, it's like, yo, come through. And then that's when I met him. Chilled guy, man. Shout out to Bro, he's got man. no idea how big he is in SA. I was telling him, I'm like, dude, everybody knows you in SA, bro. Like, yeah, you're huge. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, we all know him. We, we all fuck with the Breakfast Club you and, know? you know, the podcast. This is how we started, Brilliant idiots. You know? yeah. yeah. So, yeah, he wants to work with us. I got a meeting with him on Monday. Dope. Yeah. Oh, that's fucking rock and roll, man. Yeah, man. Going to New York. Who doesn't have a visa? Who doesn't have a visa? Who doesn't have a visa yet? Wow. Only two. We'll find the sound guy that's satisfied. Yeah. Any, anyone I can use it. Google fact checker. It's fine. Ah, say again. Imagine the stupid criminal who you must bring people up yeah. from you know those we are working with and stuff. Because when I saw you in Charlemagne, I thought on the spot you just decided to hire a crew and shoot a podcast because yeah. I thought you were interviewing him oh, no, for no, no, the no. show. No, 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 oh. no. No, I was just there to see him because uh, there's some stuff, like I said, that he wants to do with us. Yeah. I'm going to meet with him I'm going to have a Zoom meeting on Monday and then we'll see what, what's on the... What comes out of what it. What comes okay, out cool, of it, you know? Worries. But yeah, I was working, guys. I wasn't just. Hey. No, man, I was nice working song. for the podcast. You're working. <laughs> Are you connecting? It was a business trip. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, nah, so here's, out, here's what I want to ask you guys, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's just say, God willing, mm. something good comes out of this show, the main thing. Um, we do the podcast in New York or wherever. Um, now we're out there. We're not just the biggest podcast in Africa, we're the biggest podcast in New York. Yay. Mm-hmm. Uh, what happens to the people that didn't want to come on the show when we're here? They're not allowed. No, 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 no. If, if they now want to come, we welcome them, you know what I mean? With open For arms. real? Ah, yeah. yeah. I saw. Ah, I saw. Ah, yeah, yeah, I saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, guys. Ah, they were not ready. Ah, they were not ready. They're not welcome. Ah, I saw. They, they were not ready. They don't want to fuck with us when we're here, bro. Mm. Why must we fuck with them when we're in New York? Ah, eh. Oh, oh, I bumped into some pressure while I, and I, in, at the gym, in the dressing room. And I asked you, I'm like, oh, bro, when they come to the podcast, and the recorder's like, ah, when I'm 50. I'm like, yo, yo. I'm like, yo. He I'm said like, that. Yeah, there's a video. I posted the video. He at least he was that. honest. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, at least he was honest. Because a lot of them like, I'm so yeah, Kanye, boy. what must happen? I uh, know. I mean, I say, no, no, no. They're not allowed. But they're not allowed, bro. Not allowed. That's some industry bullshit. Now we're going to be opening doors for people. Oh, in America. In you a... didn't want to come yes. here. Yes. When we're here. Ah, well, Dude, you still have the list, ne? Uh, we have a list. The list of uh, everyone said no. Change. Yeah, keep that. Yeah, keep it. Yeah. We're, just know, re- we're removing Casper because we are forgiving Casper. Yeah, no, we can forgive Casper. Yeah, okay, we remove Casper. Ma- f- because Kasper. he wanted to come. I'm honestly, yes. he did and want Mac to come. And Mac Yeah. My favorites oh, are the sorry. ones. <laughs> <laughs> my, so it's fine. Yeah. Casper is is forgiving us, and we have forgiven. My He's no fav- longer on the list. My favorites are the dudes who like, yeah, yeah, I'll come, and then come back and say, my wife says no. <laughs> Yeah, do your cat's father, right? Do your cat's father. No, they say, no, no, no. If this is how it, it happens. Look at my look at what happened. They refer them to the wife. That's yes, how they refer, they all to, refer to the these, wife. Yes. Yes. And then all of a sudden, the wife is like, the wife is like, no. <laughs> but shout out to my nigga, Angus. So Angus, he's the one who shot. Angus Gibson. Yeah, Angus, Angus Gibson. Yeah. He shot Shagazulu, ne? And or he's the a producer or whatever, right? Way back. Yeah. Yeah, he's so like, he's like, uh, we're scheduling an interview with him this week. So he's like, uh, a lot of people are telling me not to come on your podcast. Now I really want to come. Now I'm interested, yeah. <laughs> he's a rock star, man. Yes. Shout out to Angus Gibson. <laughs> no, because you're right. Fuck all of them, bro. No. Where is that list, eh? Yeah, we yeah. keep it. Come and forgive, boy. Oh, yes. Yes. Come and forgive us. No. Come and hit me. No. If you haven't been on this podcast, we're about to hit 500 yeah. episodes. Before 500, you're fucked. Because remember... When... <laughs> That's not number now. If you don't contact us this week, yeah. this week, we're you unavailable. know. Tack, you said tack, no. Tack, contact. Tack, tack, tack. Yeah. What is Tutu's email? What is Tutu's email? No, no, we no. Don't, they don't know. That's no. how unimportant they are. No, no, no. They've got this week to contact Tutu. So what is Tutu's email? Tutu, what's the email? Is it Tutu at... They wanna, this is Mekchi. Yeah, I'm going to spam Tutu. Oh, that's <laughs> what I'm email. I'm going to email you. I'm So tech him, Tuan. Fuck him. Fuck him, dog. Fuck him, bro. I don't know what to say, but yeah, I'm going to get it. No, no, no. Could me on Patwin Dam. Patwin Dam. Okay, okay, fair check. Am I wrong way. though? Am I wrong though? Am I wrong? Yeah, you can give them a grace period of no. a month. A grace ah, period. Yeah, yeah. I don't no blame grace. them though. What do you mean? I don't blame them. I mean, okay, it, it's obvious that the people who do not want to come do not watch the show but have seen snippets. And obviously, we're known for our controversy. So if they would like to come, we're giving them an opportunity, a grace period. Nah, man, no opportunity. It sounds like we're begging you. Yeah. Yeah. What is the this thing you missed the train. People don't want to come. You want to come. Just leave us. Like, yeah, we wouldn't, like, we're not ex- saying, hey, calm, no, Grace, no. It's fine, man. Let's keep it moving. You know what I mean? Like, remember when you were in high school, right? All the kids that used to bully you and didn't see your greatness. And then you had the nerds who were like, yo, Boosie, we love you, man. What you do with them facts is amazing. You know what I mean? <laughs> and empowered you, you know? So are you, are you, you going to f- forget about those people that had your back when no one did? And show love to the people that were uh, trashing you. Uh, you know what I mean? But bro? think about it, dog. If, let's say, on a rainy day and you bump into your bully who was uh, bullying you in high school and you're in this nice, luxurious car and it's raining and you open the door, like, come through. And you t- drop them off at home. Sure, sure, shower them with love. How would they feel afterwards? Right? So that you're doing it for yourself. You're not doing it for him. You're doing it for yourself. But it's New York, dog. That's keys to the world. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's not like a drive home on a rainy day. It's Yay! not a drive home on a rainy day, right? 
This is New York, bro. <laughs> it's one thing when they, un- they don't expect <laughs> it. Yeah, it's one thing when they don't expect it. But if they're expecting it, that means they're even using you. So imagine because Jeez. you're in that platform and then they contact you. They are using you. Someone who did not want to, like, what, or never saw you then. So clearly now they're like, oh, all right, you're good enough. Let me contact you. So okay. that's using you. Okay, maybe okay. how about, oh, 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 how about oh, oh. we show love oh. to the people that showed us love first? And then we do the rest. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. The list, you've got the list. Yeah, we've got the list. Send New York again. Sure. And someone we've been reaching out to, uh, and uh, we've been pretty much getting blue ticked. And then uh, they're like, yo, bro, I heard you're in New York. This is Trevor Noah. I want to come. Then what? Ah, it's Trevor Noah. Come on, man. Okay. Oh, Trevor but Noah. No. Come on. Oh, that's Trevor Noah, bro. Yeah, so that was his name already. That was now. That's Trevor Noah. Come on. How do you say no to Trevor Noah? Are you mad? <laughs> Even though you said, well, he's essentially said no to us. Um, okay, what has happened? I mean, I think blue it's, it's, it's timing. We've been blue ticked. No, I no, no, it's blue ticked. It's timing. It's blue ticked. We're going to be told, up. yo, the guy really wants to come, but he just doesn't have time. No, he doesn't want to. But he did he's come. He's been told not to come. Yeah, and he'd be... No, he you think so, run. guys? Ah, yeah. you, no, 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 no. He was yeah. on the radio. I, I, I would say that if he did another podcast, bro, he's never done another podcast. Oh, you want, you want proof? That he doesn't want to come here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, show me proof. Okay. No, no, I'm just saying. Oh, you'll see. Wait. I'm just saying. Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. If, like, it will He did another show. podcast? No, no, it's not a podcast. saying that he made around. On radio, yeah, yeah that's proud. radio, man. He is a he's a safe brand. It's traditional. So obviously, he feels like he, this will mess it up for him. So that's a good I get thing those right vibes. there. I don't want to lie, man. I get those vibes. No, not Trevor. Guys. No, Trevor. Trevor no. gets this, bro. No. Oh, he should have been here then, if he gets yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Then he'd say you tell his whole team. Scheduling. Do you know how busy no, Trevor's schedule is? We see him on the day. Ah, what? No. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. At the end of the day, Trevor Noah is boss in his camp. Oh, Trevor, that's fun. He's the boss in his camp. And if he says, I fuck with these guys, I subscribe to the shit. Exactly. Then he's Let's call come. Caesar Domo, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Caesar, 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 I really, really, if that's the case, I'd be very disappointed. No, no, be disappointed. Because I'm pretty sure... <laughs> look, anyone look, but Trevor, okay, bro. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it has gotten, you know, to him. Word has gotten to him that we really would love to have him on. How, my, how many and times did you DM him, in, Mac? Invite. Remember, we spent a whole year, every episode. Yeah, but we are like 10,000 subscribers. So? Posting. You can't come to a podcast. Ah, uh, but 000. now. He's a prayer. Ah, why well, no. No, I think no. it's a scheduling thing. Ah, yeah, I know. Ah, he was here for the longest time, bro. He was exactly... Remember, he doesn't do the Daily Show anymore, so he's got free time. He's got time. He's got time. Yes, that's a million other things, and the but thing is, he's Trevor got time. Have you ever spoken to, to, to uh, uh, Caesar about Trevor? He cooks you with a teen, yeah. But he cooks you with a teen. Of course he will. He's everything. <laughs> exactly. Do you know every conversation you've had, Nomnaga? Yeah, bro. <laughs> Man. Pena... Make no sense, I see special occasion. <laughs> Not every day, so I will forget things we talk about. But we've touched on the Trevor thing before. Hmm. Let me call Caesar, dog. I'm telling you, there's no way. Trevor wants to come, bro. I Let's call you, bro. him. Let's call him. I so, Trevor knows that we want him on the show. <laughs> Trevor knows. <laughs> oh, shit. That's, uh, all right, that was not intentional. <laughs> that's not intentional. Yo, sis. Yo, what up? Hey, what up, my dog? Uh, you live on the podcast, man. So Pendukas oh, here. Wada. Ghost ladies yeah, You good? Yeah, man, I'm good. Welcome back to the country. Yeah, yeah, man. It's been a minute. Uh, listen, so we want to ask you a question, yeah. right? This is regarding yeah. Trevor Noah. Um, yeah. Does It's a simple question. Does Trevor Noah want to come on the podcast and chill? Yes or no? Yeah, you got no problem with uh, I told you, niggas. Hold on, hold on. He's a fucking chiller, bro. He wants to fucking come. No, 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 That was a high pitched. Yeah. That's a lie. Bro, I'm not going to lie. Listen, listen, listen. 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 And then obviously he knows Mac, he's good at Mac. This time around, the reason why I didn't come through is because he had shows back to back and you're trying to save his voice. Scheduling, morning, scheduling. Yeah, 
Yeah. Even this morning, I was speaking to him and he was trying to save his voice. Because, you know, like being on the road and doing an hour, 30 minutes every night, it takes a strain. That's all. That's all. That's the only thing. And it's not like we're going to pay him for, for, for coming here. You understand? So he's got to take care of his That's bag. Right. <laughs> That's Friday. Yeah, I know. I mean, he needs he needs he needs money from podcast and kill for sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, the thing is, Cesar, I was under the impression that uh, maybe he doesn't want to come because he was in the country and he did gang interviews on the radio. <laughs> no, he didn't actually. He only did an LA show. And he did East Coast Radio. The reason why I did East Coast then Radio... Then it did Clement Manyatela on 702. Yes. Yeah, but he was already in the building then. So when you're already in the building, then you mess up. Like, you go downstairs, Mac will tell you. Downstairs is uh, 702, mm. upstairs is 947. So mm. or once you're already there, you mess up. And also, he was late for an LA show. And then Clement show started, I think, literally the hour after that. So it just made sense. Oh. What I was and telling... Then, the- um, the Durban show he did because he was pushing shows in Durban. So he did East Coast Radio. And but what else? He didn't really do anything else. But even, even Fresh uh, called me, wanted me to organize something. And he would have gotten the Fresh as well because he got respect for him. But his voice, the voice was racist. Exactly. And you know, he's very pedantic about the voice. And what I was telling the guys is that he wants to come. It's just a matter of scheduling. Because this guy is fucking busy, bro. Yeah. And I mean, also, his voice thing is also a medical issue. I don't know. I mean, I you wouldn't know. But um, about eight years ago, he had a nodule, and he had to get an operation. And that operation was very delicate. Like, there was a possibility that he wasn't going to get his voice fully back, you know? Wow. And that's the same thing that Adele had. So when the voice is the instrument that makes you money, you don't take that like. Exactly. Mm. Uh, I'm telling this nigga. Right. I'm telling this. So he was never warned not to ever come here. No, he gets it. He gets what are you doing? He fucks Ooh, with us. Exactly. His okay. branding team. All his friends have been here. Cesar has been here. Anel has been here. Come on, guys. Okay. Even so who who's the other guy? Even Kaya. Even Kaya's Kaya. Kaya. Kaya Shanga has been here. Yes. Oh, damn. Yes. Everyone except Trevor, but the time will come. Okay. Okay, my right. bad. I was. I okay, thought we I got some food. Okay, Trevor. We remove Trevor from the list. No problem. <laughs> All right, no, well, shut up. Making some sort of a hit list. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got a hit list. Yeah. <laughs> he was at the top of it. He was at the top. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what's funny about that, right? Like, what's really hilarious is that um, about a week ago, I saw some guy posting that... Um, like initially, I was against the podcast, and now that the numbers are big, I'm going. I there, saw that. Relevant. Uh, people don't know, man. Like I'm an original chiller, OG. Yeah, on the couch. You know. Mm. He is. He's not lying. Oh, yeah. No, no. Yeah, yeah. I was uh, in the studio when that tweet came in. Mm, mm. Yeah, he told me about Who's it. Who's that? Yeah. What no, do you, just random. What do you and Soul yeah. talk about when you guys are playing music and ads during the show? <laughs> <laughs> I talk about everything. I'm not talk about you. <laughs> yeah, we talk about it, 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 it bro. So, so I'm very different to me, you know. Like um, this one time, he asked me what I thought was going to happen if somebody else made light of. I was like, nigga, I don't know. Like, <laughs> man, Caesar runs Kaya, bro. Caesar knows everything. Caesar runs Kaya, bro. If you want to leave, talk to Caesar first before talking to the big bosses. Oh, and Caesar will totally leave. <laughs> Those guys, how many days? Make sure like it's not more than 10 days. You're going to run Kaya, bro. I'm telling you now. You haven't gotten into trouble in a long time. I'm proud of you. Yeah, we've been keeping it clean. <laughs> We're grown yeah. now. We're grown, Chief. Yeah. Until you listen to this episode. 100%. It, means, it, it means you take my lessons when I tell you. Yeah, so next time you want to take uh, someone to stand in for you on your show, you know who to call. <sighs> you know who to call you, eh? For real? Uh, I mean, obviously, it's not my yeah. decision to make it. Ah, uh, right? come on, you run Kai. Oh, come on, <laughs> You run Kai. Yeah. <laughs> you can make it happen. <laughs> Bro, Caesar played my song. <laughs> I dropped yeah. the song and Caesar played it. You know what yeah. I mean? No one would dare even play a song in J randomly out of the playlist on Kaya. Only Caesar. Yeah, thanks. Man. Thanks. Thank well, you for that, fam. No, I mean, look. It makes sense, and it totally makes sense. Also, I'm part of the music team, so you know I work on the music on the show. So that one is easy to explain. Yeah, you're proud of everyone. I'm yeah. sure you're even proud of some people. You know, I was proud of some people <laughs> when I met you. Your dick wasn't getting sucked. <laughs> wow, that's funny. <laughs> well, I finally broke. You know what? Let me tell you something. Right? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am always proud of guys because. 
majority of these guys I've known since they were young, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. And so it's always good when you see an industry person come in somewhere and then they end up somewhere else. The growth is always good. You know, I mean, you know, to have like a 15, 10-year career is not usual. Mm, yeah. So of course I'm proud and I see you guys doing well. Nah, shout, shout out to out you, C's. man. Tanko. Yeah. Uh, that's funny. Right. That yeah. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> that yeah. 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 <laughs> my name. Shout out, my dog. <laughs> Peace, fam. Shout out. So uh, after meeting Shella, man, I go back to my hotel. Now I'm tired now. Mm-hmm. I got a lot of time in my hands because I, 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 I was sleeping at the hotel for like the whole day. Mm. I've been tired for the whole week. Ne? Mm-hmm. So I'm like, fuck, man. Let me read some comments. Hey. <laughs> Wait. What what comments now? From the podcast. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. YouTube comments. Okay. Yeah, yeah, YouTube comments. I'm like, let me find out what the chillers are saying. Yeah. Uh, was my night not ruined? Oh. On what podcast? On what show? Uh, the Waras show. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. I saw some comments. Let me read it. I think I still have it. Why would you want to do oh, that to yourself? No, no, I just wanted to see what, what what's happening. Oh, no, you want to ruin our day. Oh, there's your a day reason. Was... <laughs> we stay away from this. Yeah, things, we stay right? away from these things. Oh, yeah, people can be. And look, people, majority say nice things, but yeah. the people who really say horrible things are really horrible. But and you know so what I've I seen? stay away from them for that reason. No, I, I used to stay away from um, um, Twitter, right? Because those are not chillers. It's just people that check the clips. And yeah, 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 yeah. But with YouTube, I read because those are the chillers, right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And it's yeah, important yeah. to know what the chillers think. Okay, fair but enough. But now I have noticed after reading the comments from the Waras show, is that there are haters masked as chillers now. Oh. Okay, let's hear the comments. Okay. Do you get me? Have you, have you picked that up? Okay. Hey, man. Uh, have you picked that up? Yeah. You've picked it up, Nebusi. Have you? Please, please say why you've picked it up. Hey, people hit <laughs> on another level. No, 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 there's, there's people... To even pretend to be something you're not. Yes. Or to stand for something you don't. Because chillers are open-minded, bro. Like, there's a certain way they speak. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They get it. Yeah, yeah. And then you just get people that are just crass and you're like, that's oh, man, are you not a chain that's away? Not, I, I know yeah. the stages ago, man. Because, I mean, we, we, we disagree, we agree with a lot of things. Hey, man, there's people chillers, are crass, you know I mean? crass, but crass. there's ones where you're like, oh, hey, where are this? It'll, it's a place oh. for me. It'll hurt, you, it'll hurt your, your whole day. Because <laughs> with chillers, you'd know that it's like you're commenting on a moment. But someone who's a hater, now I understand what you're saying, is that they'll make it like about your life. You know, it's like someone saying you are ugly. You're like, mm. oh. Mm. And it's, talk about the moment saying, oh no, that was a, an ugly thing to say. Yes. You get what I mean? Yes. It's you're judging me on the thing I said at that moment. But when it's just about, hey, you're just an ugly person, you must, stay, you must stay out of that podcast. Hey, yeah. hey, oh, okay. How? Oh, you know? Hurts, yeah? yeah it and hurts. if you're chiller, you know the podcast is nothing without Kanye. Yeah, of course, She's the clue. Bro. Yeah, you're the clue of this shit. Oh. These fuck you, lady. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you guys have highlighted it, but what do you expect? I mean, with one, one million subscribers, there are those certain people who are watching just to see exactly where it's going to fall. Just as much as there are Ooh. those specific people who are on the comments who would say that the podcast is flatlining or it's no more the same as it was. Yeah. I mean, oh, it's exactly. obvious it's not a chiller. Yes. It's just mm. somebody who wants to see how far it's going to go mm-hmm. and wants mm-hmm. to basically be there when history ends. I mean, your chillers were back then when you guys had 10,000 subscribers. Yes. Now you are a brand. Even with your topics, I mean, there's people who disagree plainly on your topics and who would watch it just to disagree. There are those certain people who just watch just to contradict everything that's being said. And and, uh, am I wrong to say... If someone then has outgrown the podcast, mm. that's fine also. Like, yeah. say for example, <clears throat> Power, the show, right? Not yes. Power. Empire. Empire, yes. the show, right? Yes, yes. I used to love Empire. And I agree so, with so it. happened one day, I stopped watching Empire. Thank you. I wouldn't go on, the, on their page <laughs> and find something horrible to really say or to even express that, man, I don't want to watch this. You know what I mean? I wouldn't. Maybe I, I can tweet like, hey. It's weird. I haven't watched this show in a while. Guess I just outgrew it. Oh, flip. It's still steaming ahead. People still love it. Fine. You know what I mean? But I'm here now and it's life. It's okay. Generations. 
It's you okay. Know, we outgrew it. There was a time we all watched okay, Generations. Okay, they fucked Generations up, though. That's different. <laughs> I get it. But if yeah, we but I know what you're getting it, to. Yeah. Yes, so yes, like, yes. Imagine every day are they writing, oh, yeah, oh, rubbish, what, what? You're like, you're still there watching. Why? Just leave. One thing I picked up, it's not a good episode until we say fuck someone. Oh. Oh, yeah? Who say fuck this time? <laughs> Can you, okay. Who do you want to say fuck someone? Uh, if you don't say fuck someone in an episode, ah, you guys are censored. Oh, oh shit, is that it? it? Yeah, bro. Oh, yeah, damn, bro. But, but we've never exactly. come into the podcast saying we're going to say fuck so-and-so today, right? Mm. Or we're going to step on these toes today, right? If it so happens that, because it's a conversation, people don't realize how much we don't plan the show, you know what I mean? As far well, apparently it's scripted now. For real? Hey, let me go to the comments. Oh, you? wow. So this is me, 3 a.m. in New York. <laughs> Imagine you're in New York, man, you're in comments. Ah, oh, I talk about nothing else to do. I'm like, fuck, let me check out. Oh, you're in the bedroom, you're tired. Yeah. You're in the hotel, yeah. you're tired. So here's the first um, comment, right? Waras basically brought this episode back to the basics. Chilling. This is what I loved and missed about the channel. And then there's like 1.2 thousand... No, no, th th that's like... And then there's like 1.2 thousand... Uh, comments under this. Oh, sorry, yo, likes. Yo. Sorry, sorry, likes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Wait. Yo. Okay. Uh, my thoughts exactly. This is what we signed up for. Hope Mac will learn a thing or two from this episode and go back to basics. Hundred percent. I thought I was the only one who felt that way. Damn, bro. Uh, it just feels easy and relax. Um. Oh, and then the brought up that I'm gigging too much. <laughs> Maybe that's a genuine problem. It's okay. <laughs> nah, but one man. thing people but don't know is that I don't gig do? on Fridays. I don't take gigs on Fridays. Like Mac literally, you cancelled the gig yesterday at uh, was it Capello? Or something? Exactly uh -huh. for the show. Yeah, you cancelled oh, the, the gig yesterday because I wanted to be fresh. Because he knows he Mac was the day before Cock and Mac following day. Oh, exactly. Yeah, yeah and, but yeah. people don't see that. No, no, people don't even see. It. Like a lot of times, let's say I'm booked, right? Even today, I'm, I've got a gig, live in color at five, right? But we'd never rush this to make it to a gig on time. No. Ever. The first thing that we prioritize is this. this. And we've always done that. You know what I mean? When if we're late for a gig, we tell them. Because even those people booked us because of this. Mm. And they're like, oh, cool, because they chill us half the time anyway. They're like, ah, it's fine. You know mm. what I mean? Mm. But people don't see that. Some people don't, don't get to see, see that. that. You know what I mean? Damn, bro, that must have hurt. I couldn't imagine. Damn, bro. How did it make you feel? No, I understand, bro. I understand, bro. More. Like, I want to see more, bro. Like, like, like I get it, bro. It's, it's, you know what it's like, ne? Okay, this is where I need to channel my denial. Because <laughs> oh, yeah. what's in my head, I don't know if I can express it. Okay. You know what it's like, Dudu? It's like a drug, smoking, or like music, right? When, when you listen, they were saying this about Drake. He released an album, and people were like, ah, we missed the old Drake, yeah. Whatever album that was hot, whatever. Because what happens is it, it, it describes a moment in time that you are in. Right? Okay. So like, so, like, okay, the first time you watched the podcast yeah. and how it made you feel, you will never get that Amazing. feeling again. Oh, yeah. You will never get that feeling. Yeah. Because, yeah, and you want to hold on to that feeling, but it can never come back. It's like cigarettes. Yeah. The first... Uh, head rush I got when I had a cigarette. Yeah. I will never, ever, ever have it again. So, like, people sometimes get stuck in the past wanting to have that feeling again, but you won't. And like, I, they remember an amazing joke that got them, like, hooked on the podcast. You get what I get I'm what saying? You mean. Just or the like, laughter or whatever that was happening, or the person who was part of the podcast. You understand? Yeah. Just like when I, I'm, I used to be a big fan of Eminem. And for me, the best album he's ever released was Marshall Mathers. Mm. That was my first introduction to Eminem. Yeah. And the impact and where I was in my life, I was young and, and whatever. It helped you. Uh, well, it was amazing. And all the other albums after that haven't really nailed that spot. Because like you can't go back mm. to that moment. So I think a lot of people are stuck in the past and I get it. I think Son is depressed. He was reading. <laughs> <laughs> he's, not, he's not okay. He's, he's not okay. Actually, fuck you, Mac. <laughs> you started this. It is not okay. Sol is not okay right I now. I mean, they, uh, comments like that really do get to me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. we, we try our best, And guys. we love yeah, what guys. we do. We and love we what love we do, this man. Thing. But, so I want to say, like, how do you guys feel? You know like, what I mean? If people are saying the show is not the same, 
So are you saying you agree the show is not the same anymore? It can't be the same, it can't. bro. Like mm. when 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 it's evolving, when, when you started, bro, mm. and uh, we had a hundred thousand whatever. I'm not the same person I was then. Yeah. Bro, yeah, I've got two true. kids now, bro. That's true. I didn't that's have two true. kids then. That is I didn't so have a daughter, true. which adds a span in the works. Yo, that daughters will fuck you up. Like yeah, today, Ma- Mac was ash- like was lotioning his elbows. <laughs> I was like, fuck, are you like I was shocked. Mac never. Lotioning his elbows. You see, he's an evolved man. Mac! He... Speaking <laughs> on Mac lotioning his elbows, we're g- gig last thing in Bowerton, right? <laughs> so we're late because he's got a show to shoot. The guys were shooting something on Man uh, on Sunday. So it's Sunday. We're supposed to leave at 9 o'clock. So, Nyafuga, Nyafuga, I get dressed, I pack my stuff, Nyafaya. I'm like, boys, let's go. They're like, hey, Mac, so are you pulling a Mac G? No, they said, Mac, is that you? Because <laughs> I didn't shout. <laughs> They're like, hey, Mac, is that you? you <laughs> what are you talking about, man? Like, go shower, bro. <laughs> so it's, it's become a code now, you know? So you were even shocked. Who said Kobisa? Kobisa, my elbow. Damn, bro. I, I, I heard you and Dino saying there's a water shortage. I'm like, oh, I'm in heaven. Then. <laughs> Oh, this, this is South Africa you need. <laughs> That's why when Tyler Water comes on, Max switches off. Come on. Give me one. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, <laughs> Give me man, fuck you. But you're right, dog. Like, we, 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 we grow. What different? Like, I, I can't be the same soul from Hillbro. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, you're in Roseback now. Can we just... Please, can we just mention he's in Roseback now? Hey. Yeah. Ooh. Round of applause, man. But people know. People know. Yeah, this hip hop thing is watered down now. How? But, 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 but I've been. People yeah, yeah. know that. Yeah. He's by the stone, Rose Bank. Woo! At the most expensive apartment. Woo! With the most expensive perfume. Woo! So so we're saying we agree the show has changed. Yeah. It has to. Because it can't be the same. Because even if it, 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 it was purely the same, the very same people would say, but it's not changing. It's not yes. growing. The conversation. Bro, and grow. also podcasting has changed, bro. Like when we when we started Ghost Lady. Yeah. We knew who was listening. Yeah. Mm. Right now, bro, I don't know. We don't you yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that is true. I knew yeah, who was shy, listening. You miss your shy, you miss. Yes. <laughs> 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 in the dark. But one thing which is uh, what I've always told you is that yeah. no matter what happens, the content can't change. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we can change as individuals and evolve. In the mere fact that now I have a daughter, I don't mention the, the word. Principal I don't mention the word whore or cunt. But before I had a Damn. daughter, you yeah. can't you, say it now. Did you say? It? <laughs> you, you can't. You can't. You, 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 can't. You, you can't say it, bro. <laughs> what can't you hey, say? Hey, when what I said this hey. whore, I was like, hey, hey. <laughs> what you someone's you daughter. You crazy? Yeah, yeah. crazy. Yeah. I won't lie. My daughter's made me soft, dog. Hey, yeah. are you for you can't say it now? I can't, bro. I can't. You guys haven't noticed. I've never mentioned whore. You yeah. can't. <laughs> or calling people bitches. Yeah. You, you can't. You can't. But anyway, what I'm saying, <laughs> what I'm saying is, no matter how we evolve and change as people, mm. the content can change. Can change. Yeah. I wonder if we change the content, we fuck. Yeah. So what's the difference between changing the content and changing, not saying certain words anymore, and not that those words were the content, but. So you'll change how you deliver the content, Mm-mm. but not the content. So I don't know if you're getting my question. Yeah, yeah I get you. I get you. I'm confusing myself also. Okay, cool. It's like it's like when we started, bro. And, yeah. and I really want to do this, ne? Yeah. We'll go back to episode. Choose a number. Any episode. If the structure or the content of the show from an episode year 196. Mm. Isn't the same as the content now. Oh, I see. Okay. Then we've lost it. So, for example, you can go to any episode. I was actually watching a, an old episode um, where we we're talking about Devin Gogo reverse mission. Yes. Yes. Remember that episode? Yeah. I remember by the very pool. Well, very well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. If you watch, if you go back that and could watch, have been stuff from yesterday. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, actually, come to the yes. Yes. that could have been a topic. And the reaction and the words would still be from yesterday. Like, Thank you. Yes. stuff we could, could have done last week. Thank you very Thank you. much. I wouldn't have changed my opinions on that. That's exactly what I mean. Okay, cool. I get it. I yeah. Get it. But it's crazy, man. Podcasting is changing, bro. Of course. Like anything else, bro. Like everything else. Things change. Do you think you've grown since uh, you first started? Yeah. I mean, grown in what sense? 
in the sense of like you're now uh, more in tune with what you say and you're ma- now more deliberate about what you say and you now think before you say something or like, you know what I mean? I've always thought before I say anything. Yeah, yeah, you're good with that, actually, yeah. <laughs> like, I've Wait, no, you're not Saul's more the king of that. Yeah, I've no, always, no, no, no. Saul's yeah, I've always thought yeah, since day one about what I'll say. You know what I mean? I think I'm still pretty much the same. I've grown in my personal space. I've grown as a person. Um, but as, as a podcaster, obviously, you grow. Anything you do every day or every week repeatedly, you'll grow in it. You know what I mean? Uh, so, yeah, but... I wouldn't say I censor myself. Yeah, no, no, anyway. the censorship, that's like shit. dog nah. shit. Can I no, answer no, no, that fuck question? that shit. I don't censor myself. You know what? It, what wait, wait, before you ask your question, what, what, have, no, you, no, have, no, you, have you, have you, have you grown? I'm answer that question. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I feel like this is how it's, it's that don't change the position, always understand the position you hold in the podcast. Because sometimes with growing, because yes, we're growing in our personal lives. But let's say, for instance, so now you feel like if you were to feel like, hi, now I must start the show. I must be the, like the main host. You know what I mean? So it's almost like you're forgetting the position you hold of. And that's how it's just like respecting what you what you're doing in the podcast and your position and sticking to what you, you do best. You get what I mean? So it's still... When, when you see how you're saying that in the last episodes, what you, you listened to, it will be the same way how we would speak even currently. So it's that thing of you understand the position you hold. If it's an anchor or a co-host or the main host, whatever it is, it's holding that position and making sure that I get it and it does not change. Even when people are maybe like on the comments are trying to say, yeah, but you're, oh, you're saying too much or you're not saying enough. You should have, you should have. But it's that I'm satisfied with wh- what I said and it's okay. Like it, it's done. If the show we were, we're finished, it's good. Next show, we do the same thing. And it's being repetitive and on the same thing, it's like sticking to what we know, you know. It's just like you politics, bro. When when I started the pol- uh, the, the podcast, yeah. I didn't care about politics, bro. Mm. But the more we've interviewed these politicians, and the more that I know now, I'm like, hey, man, there's some fuckery going on here, man. We're being fucked. We're being fucked. Bro. No Vaseline. <laughs> <laughs> but does it does it say that we need to be now like involve a lot of politics the, in the podcast? No. no, no. But I'm saying like now when I engage with a politician, I'm really invested. Whereas before, I didn't care. I was just like, okay, chillers want us to interview politicians. We'll do it because they, that's what they want. Yeah. But I had no care or interest. Okay. Even like with the gossip, the, the the segment that you do, I honestly don't give a fuck like what celebrities are up to. But I know that's what chillers want, you know? Yeah. So we have to engage in it. We are up to here yeah, with them. <laughs> Fucking celebrities. <laughs> we, we don't give a fuck what they are up to. <laughs> but honestly, though, my thing is being... Like, we, we, we can't be... We, there maybe are some chillers who are still chillers. It's not every old chillers will say stuff like that, especially if they try word it in a non-hating way. You know, we can't maybe dismiss all of them as haters disguised as chillers. Some are just have a va- valid concern, but you just answered it now that nothing can ever stay... Even Coke, I suffer. Hey! Which, which, one? which one? The one we consume, Coca Cola. <laughs> New York. Hey, I said hey. New York. Hey. Which one did you, hey. which one did you take in New York? New York. 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 As the youngest chiller. The youngest chiller. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think and I'm the youngest, youngest chiller. chiller. Can be at this age. I, I, at this I mean, I started watching podcasts and chill in high school. So no, I'm not the yeah. youngest chiller. Yes, I was like that. But yes, what you're saying is true. You guys are going to evolve. The topics are going to evolve. The atmosphere and environment. I mean, I am here now. Dudu's always in the studio. There were four Malikans. Now there's three black studios. Things are changing. Hey, they were complaining about ads. We've got too many ads. I'm like, how the fuck do you think we get to afford a fat checker? Uh, Which other podcast uh, has a fat guys, checker? We're two yeah. bad guys. And then how many members do you have compared to Bro. the number of subscribers? Yeah. Bro. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and, and, and so... Uh, nah. So now we mustn't have ads because I suffered. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
sorry, sorry. Continue. Remember when? You remember? Remember when? When we were like there was like ten thousand subscribers. Yeah, yeah. The sentiment would be, guys, don't skip ads. Guys, don't skip ads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost every second, uh, 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 comment would be that. Mm. Why, why can't we have too many? Oh, they can ads? just so watch the premiere at three us, p.m. What, on Monday. So right? then there'll be no ads there. That's yeah. another alternative. Oh, the premiere is no ads. Yeah. So okay. if you watch the premiere at three p.m. on Mondays, you're not gonna, you're not oh, seeing oh, ads. Oh, oh, can we do another? Episode where there's no live reads and then we put it like on Patreon for people that want to watch the show without ads. Yeah. yeah. That's going to be tricky, man. You just have to upload it on Patreon, right? On Patreon. <laughs> yeah. so, members, next... so it's still the same episode. The same episode without just ads. Upload it, yeah. yeah, maybe we can do that. Okay. It'll be an alternative. Oh, if you don't exact, ads. exact same episode. Exact same episode. Oh, yeah, that's Without fine. the Manscaped, what, what? Oh, we'll just shave off the, the Manscaped. <laughs> It's like oh, clean. Fine. It's a clean, clean episode. Clean episode. Yes. Yeah, clean. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea, actually. Yeah. Good idea. But bro. to close it off, Nick, one thing I gotta say, Nick. Um, you met here in the comment, Loguti. It's last landela show as it's produced. So I close it off now. Without oh yes, you. yeah. Did you see that comment? Yeah, Apparently, that we only talk about scripted. You script the show for us, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I say Valamaj without. I was, I was sort of, you know. Oh, sorry, dude. We did yeah, not sorry. go through your. We're not gonna go through your, your stuff content. Today. We're so, going back to basics. Yeah. <laughs> I would say Valamaj. <laughs> say Vala. Look, what I wanted to say, ne, is yes, every chiller has the right to have an opinion whether you like the show or not. Mm. But, Definitely. But. Whoa. I would urge people to try be in the moment because nothing lasts forever. Oh, yeah. You know, Saul might wake up tomorrow and want to start his own podcast or whatever yeah. or do his own thing. So as you, Ghost Lady. Yeah. Or oh, I might want to move to New York, you know. <laughs> Alone without us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, do so us, I, yeah, with Shalaman. Yeah. Because I'm scared now. of this inter. What if Shalaman is just like, no, I just want you, MacGyver. Yeah. yeah, Mac yeah, yeah. I don't want everybody else. I don't want everybody else. else. I just want you. you. So, 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 while we're still here together, just try and enjoy the moment. Yeah. Because one day this yeah. will end. Yeesh. It will end. True. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yep. So just like, stop thinking about what's wrong, what's whatever. Just enjoy it because enjoy it's going to be one of those things where like, till this day, I cannot forget how Tato and Tato fit, made me feel in the morning. Exactly. Oh, exactly. Bro. bro. You know? At the end of the day, it's just an, an hour and a half. Not, normally, we just take an hour and a half of like, our podcast, generally, right? Yeah. So that's it. Yeah. It's not like we make your lives. It's man, let's fucking keep doing moment. what we do, man. You know? As long exactly. as we all walk out of here feeling like we left everything on the mic. Yeah. Yes. There's never been a single day where I leave Zero. here Zero. and I feel like, oh, fuck, I didn't say this. Yes. Or I said this wrong. Or hey, I, but shout out to you, so it's all is fucking good, hey. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, hey, hey. When I was watching the show, I'm like, this guy's fucking hey. brilliant, man. For real. Hey, dog. Uh, t- hey, you're amazing, dog. You text like that, man. Hey, 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 hey. Don't read the text. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, let me read it, let me read it. Let me read it, actually. Let me read a text. Oh, so, so got a private text. Hey, let you me said, read, let me read. You said, beautiful show, guys. Perfect. <laughs> then so got a private text. Please read that. I oh, you read that to me? I thought you got it. Ah, I thought, no. I thought, no. Oh, yeah, I'm still going to send this to you. No, everyone. nothing, nothing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, no, I saw yeah. the group text. This is Thursday. The <laughs> rockets men, they were rocking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> didn't doing any text. Mac, bro, I'm so glad to have you as a partner. You're so fucking good. Oh. Watch both podcasts. You held that shit down, bro. Yeah. Salute. Yeah, man. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> ta, 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 ta. I know that you're good, dog. Like, yo, beautiful. Yo, 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 yo. Beautiful. Yeah, I watched it no, no, like no. you, no. bro. Thank you. 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 Anyway, go slay. What's happening? Watch. How? Did you say Zay Vala Le Show? Oh, Zay Vala Le Show? Ah, what's happening? Ah, what's happening? Tell us what these celebs are doing. that shit of yours, man. Yeah, man. Are you serious? Are you serious? People love that shit you bring. We're going back to the basics. Hey, people love that shit you bring, man. That's the basics. We just used to wing it, you know. Now we... I can at least no, Oh my You must watch the Devin Gogo reverse cargo episode It's so funny <laughs> No we didn't just wing it man Mac used to do what you do You used to have, have it there right What the, the 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 stuff that you would want to talk about. He just never read it though. He just yeah, he just never because <laughs> the show would just take a left. Which it always does like today and every other show really, you know? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I think we should we must keep doing it, man. 
Uh, the one thing that stood out for me during the week was Amukabza. So first he was trending because he went on a live and he was like busy criticizing women for their makeup. For real? Yeah. Kabza. yeah, yeah hey, Kabza. He was. he was alive where he wasn't producing music. No, exactly. Yeah, I was just laying on the couch, there was football, I think, playing in the and, background. And funny enough, he had a whole filter. I'm like, Kabza, that doesn't look like you. Do you know <laughs> Do you know that he also, um, apparently there's a rumor that he he paid um 300,000 for Lobola, for his woman. They're apparently getting married in December. So shout out. Happening. Damn. 300. But, but I leave the rest follow. <laughs> shout out. What's that? What's that? What's that? I'm saying I lead the rest follow. Oh. <laughs> oh, have you paid Lobola? Uh, One million. No. One million. One million. In subscriber. Yeah, every time in sub for in subscriber, subscriber currency. <laughs> In subscribers, parents. What is that? One negotiation, but say one subscriber, one ungom. Otherwise, forget it. You know, you'll spend the whole night counting in a league. Sheba. Yo. Yo. But Kanye, I think Kavza can afford 300K. Remember, the thing is, now here's the thing, right? To him, it's 300K is not like what it means to the average South African. So, and that's what maybe, I don't know, how do, do guys, how did you base your global amount? I'm going oh, in December. Accepted one. I'm going in December. Are you? Yeah. So now, obviously, it's going to be but like... But it's your not your first time. What do you mean? You paying said you, You've tried paying Lobola. She people. said no. So what are we discussing if she said no? Oh, but did you know the amount then? Uh -uh. Oh, I didn't even get to there. Mm -mm. Oh, shame. Aye, man. Got in your name, sir. You knew the amount before asking, before Naga knew the amount before he asked you to. Not necessarily, but you know you'd fish as a woman. Like I, I remember asking my dad, like Baba, um, when people come for how Lobola, much was it, Lobola? Uh, you just see, spoke now, about now you're gonna now you're gonna come. Hey, comes was, was on the it was on the paper. <laughs> Mine was not on the paper. <laughs> now I'm gonna feel okay, bad. Yeah, yeah. That's, 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 amount, that's a bit no, sacred, yeah. ne? Eh? It's a bit sacred, ne? Not really. Well. With how? Okay, I'll I'll be honest. With how my dad, how he's. <laughs> oh, fuck us! Sorry, man. I've been holding it since New York. Oh, wow, that's Damn. cool. Damn. Damn. Okay. Fuck my American pie. Yeah. <laughs> Help me, <you see>. hey. <laughs> No, but I, I think even the figure may not be accurate also. We yeah. can't believe everything we read, Generally, guys. Let's be honest. I need to, with, um, gener like, how I know it in the, our culture would be 11 cows. So, But it depends on how the family, how they price per cow. Then it's it times by 11. But in my instance, I remember my dad saying, it's the kind of, what kind of wedding do you want and how much is it going to cost me? Because obviously we are now having to do this wedding, help you do this wedding that you want. Mm. So it was according to, so it was like, oh, okay, generally the venue, the this, the that, it's going to cost an average of, let's say, 70000 So he knew coming in that, okay, so because of it must pay for the wedding. So that's why with my in-laws, for instance, no one can say, hey, we paid and uh, we just took money in your house and it's just chilling there. No, yeah. you all ate, we all partook in that money. We, it, it helped that wedding was that amount and it finished there. So we are just continuing our marriage. No one owes, you know, it's not like, but anyway, it's, it's it differs per people. Nota says we must fill up F&B Stadium. Us. Next. Can we? Ah, oh, no ways. I get How many people is that? 90,000? 90,000, no ways. That's wow. Wow. We big, not that big. 90,000. Ah, now we can, man. Ah, yeah, nice I all. I was so loud. We filled up 20,000. No, eight thousand. Yeah, hey, it was eight. So it was eight. Yeah. Mm. We filled up eight after how, how many months? Three, three months. Three months. Three months of pushing. We had to postpone as well. Yeah, we had to postpone. Mm, Ninety. Yeah. Oh, but but but. Better but, boy failed. You know what? You? Yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. And also, yeah. also, also, also. Oh, David Cow had a gig uh, this weekend, I think, in PE, and uh, he posted and he said, "This model," and it goes back to. Us and this FNB idea. He said this model of selling tickets last, um, minute. last minute, and you've got a link for however long online web tickets, compu ticket people don't buy and they buy last minute is not working for me. Therefore, the gig uh, uh, on Saturday is sold out. I've bought all the tickets myself. <laughs> I'm going to be chilling at home watching myself. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Because of the headache of, because I was thinking if we start pushing now, the FNB for next year, now. Oh, yeah, no. you were saying December. Yeah, we'll start Next pushing. year, December. Yeah, we, and we'll push, we go on, online, live, with the ticket sales now. For next year, no, December. Bro. Yeah, stress. Bro, we can go for November. 10 years. Next year, hey, So, November, 
tickets. Shisheika. With, with uh, 80,000 tickets to sell. In a month, imagine. Yeah. 90,000 people. Ah, wow. uh, no ways, no, bro. Guys. No ways. You don't think people will take nah. flights from Cape Town nah. to come no. watch nope. us? And... Nope. Not in this climate, bro. People nope. don't have money, bro. Nope. Chillas. Uh, ah, who are you talking to? Chillas. <laughs> Hi. Chillas. My Chillas. man, let's go back to basics. Clap. Clap, yeah. My brand. Ah, Next week, we're going to Bloomfontaine. Go back to Fontaine. podcasting yeah, from the that's pool. Cool. Yes, Bloomfontaine. <laughs> Bloomfontaine next week. Let's that's good enough. Shooting from the pool also. Yeah, yeah. we're there. We're almost there because there's no aircon here. Sydney is there. There's no aircon. <laughs> what else you got for us, Ghost? Um, how? <laughs> oh, you aren't prepared. It's fine. What's on your mind? What do you want to talk about? Don't look at your phone. Well, well, yeah, what did you want to talk about? Talk, talk, script. Script. Aye, you, you. Close the phone, Ghost. What is on my mind? What do, yeah, what's on your mind? What's on your mind, girl? What's been bugging you? Hey. What song's that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a song that sounds like someone sang one that one time. Oh. Talk to us. Talk to us. No, no, Anela took his um I took her um helper to when she traveled. Remember how you asked Anela to stand in and she was not available? Mm. Who else did you ask? Bonang. Oh, Bonang. Yeah. Was she keen? She was in Paris. Oh, you yeah. Yeah, but she was keen, yeah. You see, also Anela was also keen. Mm. And um, but she was traveling. She was in um, What does that have to do with your story? No, 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 no. She took her helper. So no, I found out. Wait. Fucked around and found out. Yeah. So what no, she, so she traveled. Took her helper abroad. But she took yeah, she took her helper abroad. Wow. Like uh it, it, it's, that's another level. I know it's black people, we normally just take our helpers back home. You know, when you know that it's gonna be busy. So just take care of the kids because I have to go teaser kind of vibes. Like Traveling with your helper, you know? Ah, of course. If you can we, afford we've it. been doing that, man. <laughs> no, no. We I... take our driver everywhere. Our driver, not, uh, it's not a helper. No, he I'm takes crazy. us everywhere. <laughs> what do you mean we take him everywhere? He takes us <laughs> he everywhere. He takes like, your guys everywhere. <laughs> no, I'm a shout out to her. And if she's rich and she can afford that, yeah. but also not all rich people do that. That's the thing. You know yeah. what I mean? You'll find some families who will go to Switzerland or whatever and leave their helper. No, but Anela so, does that. Like she's been out. doing that. Even um, when she had an OB at Sun City, um, she brought the whole family there. She's nice. like, I'm not doing the OB unless the whole family comes there. Nice. Even when like they book her in Ibiza for a show, uh -huh. she doesn't go unless the whole team is there. Yeah, like, she's, she's been like, doing that. Like it's nothing new. Shout out to her. Yeah. That's for us. Our domestic helpers don't even catch domestic flights. <laughs> yeah. Don't put her on a bus. Be like, yeah, yeah. go see your parents. Bro, you gonna help her? Uh, she comes once. She she helps with the ironing. Mm -hmm. It's mostly the ironing. Cause my woman can clean the, the our place. Mm. She 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 cleans our place. Don't you clean? I will help her. Don't I clean? <laughs> clean. You make him like a clean. He's like he's so domesticated. He's for real. Very good. Hey, there was a there was a there was a, there was a, uh, I'm not there was a scene between period. you guys in the last episode where um, you said Soma say sorry. He said sorry, and then after he said sorry. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> but you know me and Son have got that we're like siblings me and Son look there's men that so funny <laughs> look man there is men who prefer who, who do clean and there's nothing wrong with that I just don't prefer cleaning you know I do everything a man should do you know what I'm saying I, I pay the bills I handle everything and I I just don't like cleaning I don't That's just such you know what I mean like if I stay by myself I'll have someone help me Anyway, yeah. what do you want to talk about, my dog? Do you see Netflix is going to go into um, retail? Like, they, they, they're planning on doing something called Netflix House. Wow. Where kids go play and there's games and stuff like that. In SA? All over the world, I'm wow. assuming. Like, in 2025. Please check the facts for me. Fact How is checker. this? How does that look like? It looks like... Um, I think it looks like the fun house or... Have you been to, like, Total Ninja or something like that? Yes, you know? yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we can just kids play... And some colorful stuff. I don't know. If there's a, an idea or concept images of what it would look like, please share with us, Fake Checker. But I think that's so dope. I mean, it shows, you know, adapting in the modern world where things are changing so much. How I fucking mean, cool. How's that dope? Because people are now more indoors than outdoors. Well, they've done their research as Netflix. Maybe people then still go outdoors. Yeah, we're you take outdoors, your kids to Mac. theme parks. Outdoors. 
Yes. You don't take your kids to theme parks? Yes, yes. Oh, he's playing? Yeah. Kids don't love that. Kids yearn for that. Any kid. Yeah. Whether you're from a rich family, oh, poor family, kids love just being out there. There's playing. one by Rosebank. I must That's take how you they there. grow. Where? Next to where you stay. <clears throat> where? By Rosebank. It's what? very nice. It's the, the conca. Isn't. The conca for kids. Yeah, the conca for kids. It's very nice. You like isn't it? it? I've heard there's a conca for kids, but isn't that like by Rory Port side? No, no, no. It's by Rosebank. Rose right Bank. opposite the... Universal or Sony, whatever record labels there by Rosebank. Yeah, it's Universal. Yeah, right. Opposite. Oh, they're both there actually. Yeah, not not Universal, Sony. Yeah, right opposite Sony. You There's for a conquer for I've you. You'll love it, bro. Know. For real, bro. I took but my I lady take there. My daughter, yeah? I took my lady. I mean, I took both my kids there, and my lady was there. My lady ended up painting. That's how dope it was. Painting. Mm. Yeah, like wow. Kids. Please send it to me, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'll take my daughter there. Yeah, yeah. So that's what Netflix now but wants to get give into. It, we won't give it free advertising because it's a white place. We're, they've got enough money. If it was a black place, I'd mention it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, they've got enough money. Yeah, no, they've mm. too much money. <laughs> they probably take the domestic workers to to to, to space. To space. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, it's fine. Yes, fact checker. Um, yes, even though on the t on the platforms they do not state exactly where will the Netflix house be in South Africa or around the world, they are planning on having retail shops or yeah. fun houses where you can dine, eat and also get your um, merchandises, your cups and stuff from your favorite shows based from Netflix. Who's the DJ? <laughs> look, at, look at you, you're trying to get a gig. Playing for kids. <laughs> I am uh, uh, fully booked. Uh, uh, <laughs> for the whole day. <laughs> no, 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 no. Bro, we laugh about that shit. What's the what's what's going on there with Buster? <laughs> we just that we just black dating small kids. So now we've just like accepted Allegedly. it. Like it's just like no. But also, it's so also it's just like yeah. Hey and man, no one is... slapped Tuli or beat up Tuli. Uh, it's no, like, but with Buster, no one has come forward. No one pressed charges. No yeah, one has exactly. taken him to That's court. That's another thing. You know what I mean? Like, Pori and Tuli. And it's just Amar Ruma. They, they, like, the, they dropped the charges. She dropped the charges. Remember? No, he said he's going to take it further. He said he wants to stay in court. Remember? Oh. He said he wants so to stay in court. There? We don't know. Um, Tabo Besta, where's he at? Man, Tabo Besta. Still, still in prison. Oh, now he's added um, Dalim Bofu to his um, legal wow. team. I don't get Tabo Besta. Uh, he's convicted. He doesn't have a winning streak, though, but anyway. Thing is, Tabo Besta's convicted, guys, for murder and for rape. And he's imprisoned for life there. What is How is he fi uh... him fighting this case? Because he escaped. Like, <laughs> dog. You are in prison already. Like they <laughs> threw away the key already. So why, so why, why are you do they wasting on, money and why do they keep on bringing him to court then? Unless he's got a grand plan and he wants to sing and he wants to start, you know, bringing down the people oh. as well who maybe he's connected to. Mm. But that doesn't make sense because, bro, they arrested him and threw away the key. And then he managed to escape, lucky for him. Ish. But then you can't fight it when already you are out of your place, which is prison. Mm. So I don't know what his plan is. It's going to be interesting to watch. And then Dr. Makudumani, oh, we spoke about Oh, she that. wasn't well. Yeah, yeah she, she wasn't well. She didn't appear. And three people are now, their charges were, well, not charges. They were just um, dropped by the, remember, they couldn't find anything. And then what's happening with the eggs, bro? Man, we're getting fucked with, bro. The eggs, man. There's a shortage, apparently, because there was, like, flu and stuff. <laughs> Avian flu, and then the chickens had to be culled, killed, and, you know, because of the flu, and to avoid it spreading, and obviously then that affected the supply of eggs. Is that the story, right? Yeah. 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 Isn't, it, isn't it Uptagati? Ganjan. Like, the guys dead by the river where they slaughter the chickens, they killing the chickens and make eggs. They kill chickens and make eggs. Mac, what are you saying, man? No, Uptagat. I need to use chickens. What's happening in Kugu? Yes. Oh, I've seen that where they hang a chicken by the tree. Yes. I've seen something like that. So but aren't they killing the ones that make eggs? No, man. It's got nothing to do with it. Because you know Uptagat is rife here. It is. <laughs> That's why it comes to Funa Sum Vashele Stool. I was a speck. You see, it's a lot of good so I'm going to go to the 
Als ein Reiten in einer Fahne, ja. Es ist geil. Wir können das Interview machen, you know? Aber die Tagatich ist reif, man. Aber nein, es hat nichts zu tun mit den Eggs. Oh, okay. Didn't you like the Tagatich chat with uh, Dineo? I did, man. Oh. That was crazy. It's you fascinating. Asked, you asked a very dope question, man. What question? No, was it you? Probably Ghost Lady. No, it was probably so. Ufila. <laughs> no, it was probably so. Ich bin das Aber anyway, anything else, but dog? Uh, nah, just guys, be careful, man. They 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 discovered so Pakistanis and Bangladeshis are fighting, right? Mm. Um, over obviously this puzzle shop market, and now one Pakistani snitched <laughs> on the Bangladeshi guys, and they discovered a factory of this in Kruger Stop, probably Kahiso, where these guys are making. <coughs> All the food. Wow. And there's so many of the I don't know, man, if there's no there's not enough will from our government or someone is paid off to look the someone other way. Someone is paid off. Definitely, bro. These guys are making everything. Tin stafu, beans, spaghetti, panado, coke, sinila. They're even making <laughs> fake <laughs> laxatives, lacha. <laughs> All the stuff, and then they just brand them with the popular stuff that we know. Okay. Google the story fact checker. Say IOL. Fake foods, South Africa, SA. Guys, so with all this knowledge, why don't we just stop buying from them? <coughs> oh. Yeah, that's what I'm trying the to say. The information is not, is not leading to the poor people, the poorest of the poorest. And that's the biggest market, remember. So this information is only for people who, like us, who have, it's like, I, okay, let me only just go buy at the... Who are privileged. Yeah, who are privileged. Yeah, you see, no, you know? but guys, and let's be honest, man. A lucky star from Emakulini. A lucky star is a pick and pay. You may find it's even cheaper a pick and pay sometimes. And then if it's cheaper, Emakulini, ask yourself why. It can't be cheaper than by more than five bucks. Isn't then it you convenience? must know something is off. Isn't it convenience? Because with the mall, I have to take a taxi to yeah, go to the mall. Yeah, exactly. With that, I can just walk. Yeah, bon. Yeah, but like, guys. Continue, like, you, you just, you are quite, you quite as in my now. It's like, ah, okay, in a 20 rand, whatever I can get this, pass, it's in fish. But yeah, for you, like, literally, they're selling yeah. fake foods that can harm you. It's hectic. You know what I mean? So... Rather than spend your ten rand, maybe I'm speaking from a point of privilege. Yeah. But rather than spend your ten rand, or walk from a two near a Christian mall and ten into some walk back, you know, then risk the, my life and my kids' lives by buying into anywhere somewhere in Engine. Ah, come on. I just man. wish this information could start going into filtering, maybe in community radio stations. Mm. I think that would be another space, like so that it's like there's a warning, like guys, refrain from buying. From these Amas Paz. Because Baz and Zaya look good. Like, literally, Baz and Zaya like South Africa, these people. It's crazy, man. You can't have bread that is like, it turns, if you put it in water, it turns into like dough. Baz and Zaya. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying, guys, no. Baz and Zaya, you can't. Anyway, uh, podcast and chill. Team will be broadcasting live in Bloemfontein. We're coming this bloom, weekend. Bloom, 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 bloom. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And the operative word being team. So everybody's going to be there. 21st of October at the Backyard Experience at Rambus Club venue. The event will feature great food, amazing vibes, and captivating live music from the finest artists representing the free state. Secure tickets now priced between 150 and 200 rands. Available at webtickets.co.za. Do not miss out. Uh, when we at Broom last year, bro? Yeah, we were. With Chris Mapani, remember? Yes. He yes. was the comedian there. Yeah. Yeah, we went Bloom last year. Bloom, yeah. Bloom shows us love. Man, we, yeah. we get love everywhere, but Bloom, yeah, second time now. Yeah, you coming with this time, Ghost Lady? Yeah, I'm coming. Ah, you weren't there last time? No, I wasn't sure. there last time. Uh, sure. Oh, so please I'm come. Through. I'm, I'll be definitely People get disappointed you when you're not there, for real. Who? Yeah. You. Who will be disappointed? People, oh, people. Chillers, oh, no, no, no. they really get disappointed. Like yeah, they, I know, I know, I know. That's well, what I'm I know, I know. It's they lose it. We gotta go back to basics. Fuck this mask thing of yours, yeah, my close. <laughs> okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, what's this mask business <laughs> that you keep doing? Before you used to come to branches, you know, and change your voice, make it squeaky. Now we are there. The mask. The dead, like. <laughs> the must uh, podcast. Hey, <laughs> Maria, let them a mask. It must stop now, okay, please. Okay, okay, all right. So, songs of figure in my full ensemble, it's myself. Yes. And everybody knows you now. Come on. The chick is up. It's like a second thing. Come on. 
Kai, you should have taken tips. <laughs> they figured you out. I mean, we did chat me and Smu. You know, it did, you know, it did give me some seconds like, tips. Nah, so that's nice why I think. Okay. And also, we got a podcast on the network that goes live for the first time ever in SA. They do a live podcast. Oh, damn. The the the, the, the sports one? Yeah. Oh, Outside ZD. Yeah, yeah, I heard Ooh. something like that. Yeah, every Friday at 3 p.m. They're going live, man. Nice. Is it live in the live, studio? Live, they live, live. Live, like, in the studio... Normal podcast setup, but live. Yes. Oh, brilliant. That's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. So we want to see where they fuck up and then we'll start going live. Oh, <laughs> oh they're the guinea pigs. <laughs> yeah, they're the guinea pigs. They're they guinea pigs. <laughs> <laughs> so would we go live on Mondays? Is that the plan? Future plan? I think Thursdays. Oh, Thursdays. Good. Yeah. So what does that entail? We just do the podcast normally, but it's live. Or yeah, is it... Is it remember Thursdays of the celebrity, though. So hey? would we be going live with the celebrity? Ah, we're out of celebrities. Who else can we talk to now? Uh, yeah. Ah, we're out of uh, this Hey, damn, man. Yeah, no? Yeah, I, mean, I think we should start going uh, uh, live on Thursdays mm-hmm. with the chillers. Yeah, that's next level. Let's do it. Oh, but that's evolution. That's growth. No, we don't want that, guys. Hey, wow. yeah. We must stay where we ten, are. Eight, ten. We must go back ah, to let's basics. Let's go live, man. Go back to basics. Guys, we're going live. We're going live. We're going live. <laughs> we are here, man. Podcast and Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Welcome to Black Excellence. Do not fear, for if you do, just sip on some grandeur. And if you still do, ask ourselves. What would Mapapunzi do? Parama chilla, itlesha le figi. Bungo yig, even if when they ask you, how sabiin, do not fear. For if you do, just say, Anistivi. This is the medicine of censorship. This is the pill. Which one is that one? Podcast and chill.